Good evening, everybody, and welcome to SFC Fan TV with myself, Sean Middleton, and Conrad and Dino. Um, we've just done the live stream where Sunderland, thankfully, uh, managed to get over the line, and uh, the match ended. Sunderland won, Shrewsbury Town nil. Um, it wasn't uh, pretty in the second half. First first half was absolutely brilliant. I thought it was the best we've played this um, this this season at home. Um, it's our first win since that. Uh, Ipswich game, which seems uh, a long, long time ago. Um, Dino, first half was great. Second half was, uh, wasn't so great. But it's a win. It's a clean sheet. Um, what's your makings of the of the game on a, on a, on a whole? On a whole, till two halves, isn't it? Till two halves. I mean, first half, couldn't fault any of them. Everyone put a shift in. Everyone was doing what they were meant to be doing. We did restrict... I think we restricted them to one shot. That was by Chapman when he ran through. But other than that, we, we kept the ball well. I thought we kept possession really well. Uh, the goal, McGeady, he was tearing their uh, right back a new one most of like, most the first half. And he finally got down the bail and whipped the ball. And Charlie White runs front post. And it was a lovely header. I can't, I can't yeah. say nothing more than that about the goal. It was a beautiful goal. It was actually a well-worked goal for a change. Yeah. And then me and you back to in. front as well, all the way from Burge, without them touching the ball. Right. See, it just showed. I mean, we kept the ball so well. Like, I was actually impressed with some of the passing we were doing. It was just simple. And then we'll come out for second half, and you can put it down to Shrewsbury picking their game up and making us panic because it, it was like the second half was reversed. Then we're doing all the passing and all the attacking, and we were doing all the defending. Mm -hmm. And don't get us wrong, I'm, I'm going to praise the lads because we, they didn't really have a shot in the second half even though mm. they did pick away because we're getting tackles in and blocks and stuff like that so I'll give a bit of praise there yeah we're under pressure but I can't remember Lee Burge actually having to make a save didn't know under pressure so yeah. for me it, you'll take, I'll take a 1-0 win because I did predict a 1-1 then we're the form team coming into this game and it was a 1-0 I wouldn't say comfortable it was scrappy but we'll take a move on it, it it'll do the lads a good will of confidence yeah, like you say, it's a, it's a confidence booster because the, the game on Tuesday, which I never seen against Plymouth, that were seen pretty bad and everything was down. But it goes, goes to show if you put the effort in like we did in the first half, Conrad. I mean, the passing and the movement was brilliant. I mean, Ian McGeady was was brilliant down the down the left. Jack Diamond looked lively. Uh, Max Power actually offered a lot down the right as well. Um, Grant Nedbetter was, was screwing the ball around well. Josh Gowan was, was, was everywhere. Um, the goal was brilliant. I just, you know, I'm trying to think of the positives out of the first half, really, because that's what was what won us the game. It was a great, um, great uh, work down the left by McGinney, um, skinned his defender, put the ball in. Charlie White with a fantastic header uh, in, in the top corner. Um, the second half wasn't wasn't too good, but we, I, I suppose as Dana said, there we, we restricted them. They didn't have a clear shot. They didn't have a clear chance. So in that respect, you could see we're seeing the game out well, but we need to sort of. Yes, the first half was good, but we need to be better um, on Tuesday night against Sipsy because the second half was um, we weren't was was sort of sinking further and further back, and you're sort of inviting that team to uh, to come, aren't you? But you know, you take the positives there, Conrad. But um, on, on a whole, the game. I mean, are you happy? And um, what do you think we need to do to improve going forward? Um, they're happy with the three points, of course, in there, but. We just continue to be so Jekyll and Hyde, don't we? Just between halves, we're just one team in one half and one team in another. Um, like you say, I think it was one of the best performances we've had in the first half uh, at home this season. Easily, we we're in control. They had, but it's like Dino said, they had their strangely, they had their best chance in the first half, first, uh, and then yeah. second half they were all over us. But every time we were getting in the box, it was just scrappy, or we would get it out somehow. It didn't really test Burge, but it was literally just hoof it out football, and it's coming back. Right, get yourself in the line now. The second half, right, it's out again. Right, it's coming back again. Who's got this here? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy, of course, but I think Ipswich will be a lot harder test. Uh, I don't know how they're getting on at the moment, or they got on against Peterborough. But uh, the, the, if we want to actually have a serious crack at this, we, we need to beat them. Um, because they're up there with us, so we need to beat Ipswich. But would the I think that do it? I don't it's know. got beat one nil. Just it's just got beat, yeah, pretty much right. scored. Uh, so what are their points? Just out of interest. Right, the, the tables are: Ipswich on thirty-five, played twenty-one games. We've played twenty-two games on thirty-six. 
So, so uh, well, really, if, if we if we beat them, it rules out their game in hand. Yeah. 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 Basically, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we, well, we have to go there with the attitude of we're going there for a win. You don't want to go there and, and, and settle for a draw and think, oh, it's OK, because, well, who knows, they win their game in hand, whoever it may be against, in the back ahead of us again. The good thing about it, I mean, I mean, the good thing about the game on Tuesday, I'm just jumping ahead of you, is we seem to play better away from home. I don't know what it is, but the, the players seem to be a bit more like relaxed, you know, as well, away from home. I don't know why. You can't blame the fans. Like, that's it's one because of those toxic play. ghosts in the stadium. <laughs> As I'm seeing this season, which is, you know, which is really good, people can't see it. the Sunderland fans are toxic and it's their fault. That's one thing and throw out the window because we haven't been in the ground for a full year. So um, it's the players in that pitch who will do it this season. But um, obviously, Dana, I mean, not the tables. We were sixth at one time. I mean, it's very tight around around there, the, the sixth to about ninth, tenth. We've just, we've just got to keep on winning football matches. And I think, um, yes, the second half wasn't pretty to dear, but... It was a professional performance in the second half, much better in the first. It's three points. Um, you know, you've got to take the positives, really. I mean, after that uh, two-one defeated home on, on uh, Tuesday night, um, are you confident now, or you just think, or do you do you think it's just one game, and you know, the Tuesday game will be another real test against if- Ipswich? Well, it's clear it's going to be a test. One hundred percent, it'll be a test. Ipswich are up there. You know, the they're one of the teams who are always going to be up there. Um. Yeah, I, I t- see, I take game one game at a time. You're only as good as your last performance. I don't look at uh, tables, because what's the point in looking at a table now? You can be you can be top of the table by Christmas and be outside the playoffs come the end of the season. It makes no difference. The table's the table. Tell us tell us about the table at the end of the season, where we're going to be, something like that. When the 46 games is up, then say, oh, look, we, we made the playoffs. Right now, it doesn't matter. You can be in the playoffs, then top two, then back out. It's that close. And teams have got... Like, Ackland Stanley's got three games. I think Ackland Stanley's got three or four games advantage on us. We've got one game advantage on Hull. It's, this it's all over the place at the moment. To, it's to all over the place. So yeah. don't talk to us about promotions and tables until until it's like the last six games where you know you're going to be. Because I don't know where we're going to finish. We could be mm. we could be outside the playoffs. We could be bottom half or we could even be in the top two. You never know. It's still only... That's how that's, 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 you know, it seems like you said about the tables... I mean, see the 40, 46 games are up. I think the today's performance. Um, beating the, I mean, Shrewsbury side, who, you know, they've beaten Hull, they've beaten Lincoln, they've beaten Toncaster, and keeping clean sheets as well. You can see they've got quality on their side. I don't know why they are where they are on the tables. Um, I've just had a look, though. Season. Interestingly, they, you've said that, like, did they win four out of five before they played us? Yeah. They've yeah. only won one other game outside of that other four. Gee. Gosh. That's why they're how they are. So that run, <laughs> their most recent run, is their their only thing so far. You can really. see, you can see why the why the, they've got they've got that bit of a quality. I mean, that Tommy mm. Chapman didn't see was good. Um, Leon Chong, Clark was bullying the defenders at one uh, point and bringing the rest of the minute. He was he maybe was it's the defense. Good. Maybe he's on days of just the defense. But um, Dino, I'll just put you on the spot here. Um, that performance, the first half performance. If we can do that consistently, can we finish in the top six? I've always says we can we can finish in top six, yeah, but I don't believe the players have the consistency levels to do it. A game is forty six a season's forty six games, not this game. It's we, we can play well two games and get be three games, win one like Conrad said, we win a game and we don't follow it up. You've got to follow it up. It's consistency. That's what a season's all about. You've got to stay consistent throughout the season. If you're the most consistent team, you're gonna go up. Simple mm-hmm. as that. So do you not like think saying, very... we're not even halfway through the season yet? Still, yeah. uh, once we played Ipswich, we are though. I will, I will put that there. We're at twenty-three <laughs> games after Ipswich, but to think that we're in what middle of Jan, near the end of Jan, and we're still not halfway through mm-hmm. at, at this point. So, I mean, a long way to go. I, I, it's going to be a consistency thing. I mean, you're right to take one one game at a time, but I mean, there's definitely there's definitely optimism after that performance, the first half anyway. I think it was professional in the second half. Um, as I said before, I'm more a results man. If if they considered later, I'd have been fuming. It's that thing of, do you remember, like, I used to think, like, oh, great, we scored so well in the first half. Do you remember Portsmouth in the Checker Trade final? Mm-hmm. I've never seen a more complete performance from a Sunderland side in 45 minutes. In the first half. Then uh, suddenly just disappeared in the second half. Yeah. They just they were not the same. And granted, Portsmouth played better, but that's the same today. Shrewsbury up their game in the second half, and we were just like, uh, uh, "What are we doing? What are we doing? We defend, get in the way." That was our tactic. 
I would say Jack, I mean, I would say it was Jack Russell's fault, but then you look at it and you say, well, it's the same things happened to Deer and you're two and a half years on on from then. So yeah. but there's a lot of there's a lot of players still might have the Jack Ross mentality on the Philip Pants 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 in there. It's taking the foot off the gas thing, isn't it? Where they're like, oh, we're coasting here. But I say you can't. I mean, I'll take the positives. We'll, we'll, we'll outstand the first half and we deserve to be one and up, but you're going to have to be better. And, 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 you know, the second half, yes, it was professional. We were singing out, we got tackles in, and it was, uh, we were restricted. Uh, Shrewsbury, they didn't really have a chance, but we, it was what in the next shelves where we're like, heart in, heart in your mouth stuff, one of the you know what I mean? Can and I ask you a question? Long bond. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Sean. Go on. Go on, yeah. Oh, uh, the one question I want to ask both of you is is it bad to have been. For, for pretty much 40 minutes you know when teams come and do negative tactics at our place and time wasting to see us have to time waste at home against a team like down the league is it, should we really be time wasting at home no nah, my brothers it's to me it's, it's seeing the game out other teams yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, other teams do it and like we did in the last five minutes it was good where i remember guy i'm not a big, a big fan but he, we won a free kick we're seeing it in the corner and we're seeing the game out, and that's just what you've got to do as a professional footballer. I mean, other teams do it, and um, you've got to do that side of the game well. And I thought we did that side of the game well today. What do you reckon, Dino? You know what? I hate when teams do it against us, but we don't do. We never used to do it. Yeah. We never we used to do it on one nil. That's why we always used to concede against like Gillingham last season. We didn't try and waste time. For me, do it. season. Just, just do it. Why not? I mean, if teams do it against us, we do it. And can I just mm. say, Sean, do you know about the second half performance? Did you hear me yeah. say anything negative about that team? I actually give them no. praise for not letting Defend them. Defend him well. And yeah. the, the, the second half performance. Yeah, so so I say is we played crap. Yeah, but I say is I'll give the team some praise. Defensive credit. They like they, they they, they, yeah, no, no. That, but they didn't get a shot off. I can't remember. Like, exactly. All you that can't... pressure. Exactly, exactly. It wasn't it wasn't so good in the second half, but if the other team's not gonna have a clear good chance, then the what doing you've something restrict, you've somewhere restricted them, haven't you? Restricted them and like you could see that they had some quality players here and there, and it wasn't good to watch like the women in the game, but we're just seeing it out, and that's what you've got to look at. I look more at the result and I'll take the result in the first half performance. I had this work to do, and we're gonna continue that in the Ipswich game, we're gonna go there and get three points. Do you know what I mean? Um it'll be pretty much Irrelevant if we go there on Tuesday and don't get a result. Um, but I exactly you see, we've done the ugly side of things well at the second half. We've seen it out. We do. We've got to do thing. We've got to do the 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 dirty side of the game as well, where you, you see games out and you keep and clean, change your grind and results out. Um, anyway, I just want to quickly see about the George Jobson thing because we're running out of time. George Jobson left yesterday. Went to ESA Women on loan. Um, me personally speaking, I put a tweet out and, uh, and I tweeted there. Uh, George Jobson I said, you know, good luck. Um, you, one thing I kind of say is that you give 100% and you're going to go to your loan spell. To quickly, Dino, I mean, George Jobson left. Do you think that could be a sign of that? Uh, I wouldn't say it's because you don't know the wages because we could still pay his wages, but them kind of loan him. You don't know what the wage situation is. Are them paying his wages or are we paying the wages or is it hard or not? I, I don't... You won't know that side, but for me, him going out on loan is basically saying he's not, he's not in there. Uh, Lee Johnson's plans, in my opinion. Yeah. I think that's uh, George Dobson's career as a Southern footballer. I yeah. don't know, in my opinion. I, I, I agree, Dino. But I, 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 uh, comment, I'm just getting your. I do think that for him to go out, that's that's a sign that he's not getting. Um, he's not going. He's not. It's not Lee Johnson's plans, but it's also it's going to be a sign that somebody's coming in. Surely, Conrad. Uh, no, because that was Winchester. No. Maybe they brought Winchester in for him. And that's why now they've gone, all right, we've got someone in, off you go. Because they didn't get rid of him before they got Winchester. It's now a mm-hmm. case of, we've got someone in who plays midfield. Right, we've got one too many now. Who's not playing? Who's not close enough? Who's Just in my opinion, the not mm-hmm. good enough to be playing I, for us I'm at the hoping, minute? I'm hoping that he's a both wrong and I'm hoping that uh, it's a sign of that somebody's coming in because I still think we need another midfielder. Um, I mean, like you see, if Powers playing it right back now, I mean, when O9 comes back, uh, you'll imagine he's probably... Oh, no, he went to midfield today, didn't he, though? Yeah, so. he went in the middle. So he's probably trying to get his chance in the middle. But, uh, you know, I'll take the positives to Dia. It's three points. Um, I agree with Dia in the sense where the league tables, they're relevant at the minute. It's at the, at the end of the season. But we've got to keep... We've, we've got to go on a run now and start winning games, start and choose a night and win a Dia. Take the positives. It was a brilliant first half. Um Professional performance in the second half, a clip of clean shape. We restricted there, Shrewsbury Town, who's beating some good sides, so I'll take the positives. Um, just quickly, on the, on the Ipswich game, Dino, do you think we're going to get three points quickly? Um, 
course we can. We beat them at home. We, we, we beat them already this season. Of course we can. But like yes. I always say, it all depends on the players. The players have got to go out and perform for ninety minutes, not 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 forty five, because Ipswich will make will pay for it. But critically, no. Critically, would you keep the same team? Would I keep the same team? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Don't change a win team. Right, Conrad, uh, come come and get three points, and would you keep the same team? Critically, yes. Yeah, yeah to both. We, we can win because we've already beaten them. We didn't play well when we beat them at our place either, so we, we can do it. Um, but yeah, I'd keep the same team. I think they all, first half, put a shift in and second half, they all put a shift in like defensively, yeah, working for each other. Yeah. yeah, maybe not the best sort of dominant performance, but they work yeah. for each other in the second half. Right. Cheers, lads. For that. I'll just say quickly, the, the game on Tuesday, which I always be positive and I think we can go there. We'll beat them already and uh, it's just not playing too great, so of course we can go in there and get together when it's what does turn up. Um, anyway, that's wraps, that's wraps it up for uh, the reaction to the, the Sunderland uh, 1-0 victory against Shrewsbury Town. Uh, thanks to Dino and uh, thanks to Conrad as well. Um, and thanks to everybody who's on the live stream earlier on um, for tuning in and giving us the comments. Sorry I couldn't read many help, but uh, also remember to uh, subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free and it doesn't cost a penny. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow night on the Sunday Bunch. Stay safe uh, and take care. Bye-bye.